Hi, this is a quick overview of how you can use the Grails Auto Test plugin to run tests for you automatically as you're developing in the Grails app. So what I've done here is just created a simple application and installed the Auto Test plugin using uh, Build Config and this line here to install Auto Test in the build scope. So that means it won't be included in the war file if I generate a war and deploy it on an application server. And one of the things the Auto Test plugin gives you is a new script called Auto Test. So you can hit that in your Grails interactive prompt and it will tell you that it's listening for changes in your current working directory. So it's just looking at, at all the Grails artifacts and watching them for changes. So I have an empty book class here, empty book domain class, and I have an empty book tests. So what I'm going to do is I'm starting development on my book and I want to add a title property, but before I add the title property, I write a simple test. And I'm just going to instantiate a new book validate, uh, assert that it doesn't validate if it's just an empty book, no, no property set on it. And I'm going to make sure that the error code that I'm getting when that validation fails is the nullable constraint on the title field. So when I save my book test, you'll notice auto test picked up the change down here. It actually runs the test. I can see that it failed. And uh, in a moment here, it'll pop up and say uh, uh, the test failed in red. So what's cool about this is it, it did that for me automatically, but I still have access to the Grails prompt, so I can do things like open test report, and that'll pop open a browser, and I can see here the exact assertion, or I can look at other anything that the uh, test report gives me. You also notice that the only test that it ran was the book test. So it's smart enough to understand what you're working on and only run the tests that apply to that. So now I'm going to go over to my book class, and actually add in string title and when I save my book class you'll see it picks up that change It notice the file changed it reruns the tests for book and then it'll tell me that the tests have passed so the the nice part about this like I mentioned is it's only running a, a small portion of your test so it's giving you feedback instantly on what you're working on and in fact it picks up new changes too so I could say create uh, new domain class author, for example. And now when you, you create a new class, a new domain class, it, it creates both the author.groovy and the author tests. You see that Autotest picked that up and actually ran the tests for author, not for book, and uh, noticed that the default implementation of the author tests failed. So there's a high-level overview of what you can do with the Autotest plugin. Uh, please try it out. And let us know if there's any feedback. You can comment or provide issues uh, and pull requests on our GitHub repository. Thank you.